Today, we're going to take a look at what tools I bring on my adventures. Ah. This is mainly the equipment I bring with me when I'm out on my adventures. I got a new set of uh, tire levers and tire tools from Eastbound. I have the original uh, tool pouch from Yamaha with some uh, custom setup uh, of my own with a leatherman and stuff. I have the um, trail tool or what it's called from Motion Pro. I have this genius invention, that's the Trail Jack uh, 2.0 from uh, Moving Mavericks. This is quite impressive. And I just have a normal pump from uh, Lessine, or how they pronounce it. It packs quite small, and I really like the invention with you just pack it inside yourself. I got a couple of strips, that is always in handy. I got a tire pressure reader from Bilt Emma, nothing fancy. I have a little box of uh, tire soap to get the bead on and off much easier. I have the rim protectors from, uh, or rim shield, that is called from Motion Pro. Those come quite in handy if you want to spare your rim from getting a lot of dents. And I have a tube repair kit with patches, if that is necessary. And I have the, um, I'm not sure what this is called, this I just used to, sometimes it can be really hard to, uh, to get the valve if you need to replace the tube in the rim. So you just put this inside the hole, screw it on the valve stem and then just pull it out. It makes it much easier to uh, get the tube inside the tire. The most important um, tool I have in this equipment, one second. I got enough membership, that is a Norwegian, uh, Norwegian thing, but I have free roadside assistance uh, two times every year with this membership. So I can, um, no matter where my bike breaks down, I can just call enough and they come get me. Of course, when you're out on the trails or you are far away from um, people or regular roads, you need a certain amount of tools to kind of yeah, get yourself going. And therefore, I think the most important tools is the ones I, for my use, is what I got on my table here. I'm gonna start off with the eastbound tools. I'm just gonna put away everything else. I used to have this tire tool from um, Rally Raid Products in UK. This is quite genius as well. You can change the bolt in front and rear with just this tool, but it kinda, it, it's hard to pack and on the, on the World Raid, it doesn't fit that good under the saddle, on, uh, under the seat. So um, yeah, that was kind of awkward to uh, put on the bike. I needed to put it in my backpack. And I had a tie lever from uh, Motion Pro. I really enjoy this one because it's so uh, small and it's really good to work with. And I had a Bead Pro from Motion Pro, but I find that breaking the bead with this tool, it's quite hard. You really need to work your way around the tire and it makes uh, kind of it really hard to break the bead. And I do not like the tire, uh, the tire tool that much. It's kind of slip all the time and I don't get a good grip. So I got a tip online from a friend of mine called Kurt. He owns the Ledena store here in Norway. And he told me about Eastbound tool. I haven't heard of them before. And I have to say, this is quite impressive. It, 
mostly because it packs small, but also I, I, I really like the genius invention with um, the parts you put together. So you kind of just, with O-rings, you slip them together. One tie lever. Two tie levers. And then you have the bead breaker here as well. This is really great. Oh, I really enjoyed this one. Amazing tie levers. The best ones I've got. <coughs> to this as well, I got the Tenere 700 uh, toolkit that helps you to take off the wheel in front and in the rear. And it's the same with this one. You just bring it together, same principle. And here you got the 19 uh, millimeter uh, hex, or what it's called, you can, uh, you can use on the front axle. This small thing, you can put in, and you have 10 millimeters, no, 12 millimeters and 10 millimeters. The 10 millimeters is for the small pinch bolt on the front axle. The 12 millimeter is for the, um, that, the one that holds the brake caliber in front. So you can take this off. And this big one is of course for the rear axle bolt. And I just, I was so impressed by how well this is built and made. So yeah, it was a dead given. It's a, it's a little bit expensive, but still I think that it's, it's so lightweight and it packs so small. It wasn't dead given for my kind of uh, tool case. And in the original pouch from Yamaha, I do have um, a Leatherman. This is always in handy. It's, it's got a, um, a wire cutter or a, yeah, what you call it. It has a really good um, plier for if you get a nail stuck in your tire or anything, I find it really helpful to get a good plier so you can put that, get that stuff out.
I got the seal mate from uh, Motion Pro if I get a leakage in one of my front forks. And I have the original spanners from Yamaha that you get in the kit. It's a 10, 8, 14, 17 and uh, yeah, 12 or 10 as well. So this is quite handy when I change the rear wheel, to the, the positioners uh, and, or to tighten or loosen the chain. I will probably put these together with the tire tool. And I have the spoke uh, tool to, uh, that I can adjust the spokes on the wheel. I've never had to do that, but uh, you never know. So it's, since it's so small and so easy to bring and it's lightweight, I just have it in the kit. Most of you probably know about uh, trail tools from Motion Pro. It's quite handy little thing that uh, I'm not gonna go too much into details about uh, this either. It just, most of you guys know what it is. It's a little handy tool you can assemble or open up to have, uh, to make different kind of uh, adjustment. You have 14, you have eight, you have 12 and 10, and you have a, even a beer opener. So yeah, I find this is uh, quite handy as well. And uh, it's always nice to have a double off of uh, some tools. If you have somebody to help you or help you to to take off plastic or some of the covers on the bike. It's always great to have uh, a little bit of extra tools. And of course, this is also lightweight and uh, really small. So uh, yeah, highly recommend it. This is probably my most favorite thing. It's so small and it's so genius. It just, I'm so goddamn impressed by this trail stand. This is a little Velcro strap you use around your uh, brake lever when you want to secure and lift up the back wheel. And you have the pin and you have a couple of, set, a couple of extra O-rings in the little pouch that comes with it. You bring out the, the bottom of it. Everything is secured with O-rings so it's quite snug. And You assemble it. And you ma make sure it is about five to seven centimeters higher than the point you are gonna lift. And find a secure spot to have it. And with this thing, you can lift the bike in the front or in the rear if you need to take the uh, tire, if you need to take the tire off the bike. It's amazing i'm so impressed by how light it is and how well engineered it is it's just yeah i love stuff like this Yeah, this is kind of did give and it just to prevent the rim from getting damaged when you do a lot of heavy braking with tire levers. I gotta measure the tire, bar, PSE, yeah, self-explain, you just put it on a wall, you get a reading. Patches for the tube, don't gonna go too much into that, 
easy, understandable. Strips are always handy. I use that to strips of wire, strips together, stuff that is broken. Can't live without it. Hand pump. Brilliant invention. I, I read online, I was looking for a new, um, new pump and I found this online. It was highly recommended by the um, bicycle community and there's two set of valves. You have one for, um, uh, it's even stand, it's even in writing what kind of valve it is. It is shredder and it's Presta and you have, um, so you just screw it onto the valve. Half a bar, 0 0.65 bar, and you can even pump the tire up to. With this hand pump, you should, with ease, pump up 90 psi or 6.2 bars, and that's quite high to be a hand pump. Of course, it's a little bit of man uh, labor. I don't want to do too much uh, hand gestures for this, but it can. <laughs> but yeah. It's simple, it's incredible lightweight, it packs inside itself and it's just, it's just brilliant. I know, uh, I know there's uh, smaller ones, but of course the smaller the pump is, the more labor is to pump up a tire. And of course you don't need to pump it too high, it's just enough to make it out of uh, the woods by yourself. So to kind of sum it up, this is the mo uh, this is mostly the tools that I find myself in need of when I'm out on my trails or out on my Arcana adventures. But keep in mind, I'm no enduro rider. I'm just an adventure rider that uh, ride around on 50-50 uh, gravel and tarmac. And I don't see the point in having too much tools with you. I uh, went through all my gear and I know that I have a couple of extra stuff as well, a couple of extra fuses in my jacket and I have a um, couple of spare linkage uh, for the chain and uh, a couple of smaller things uh, in my tank bag. So yeah, but this is mainly the stuff because uh, I really need to be able to change the tire on the trail if, it's, if I get a flat or uh, if there's any problems. I have to say I was quite impressed by the new tire levers, how well it performed and how easy it was to break the bead on the tire. I had much worse, uh, it was much worse to do it with the uh, motion pros. I get a lot of questions about this stuff, so I hope I answered some of them in this video. I know a lot of people are curious about the uh, tools I got from Eastbound. And um, yeah, I hope I showed in a good way how easy they are to use and how good they perform and no i'm not sponsored in any way by any of the tool brands that i have uh, in my kit yeah and that is all i got for you today take care stay safe i'll see you in the next one